Hello, welcome to the Netlify Headless Commerce Summit. Uh, today, we're going to go over how you can build, innovate, and grow a multi region headless e commerce site using Big Commerce. Uh, so, some brief introductions. Hi, I'm Ray from Big Commerce. Um, you can see here, you can reach me on Twitter, LinkedIn, and by email. And some of the projects that I'm currently working on are our Big Commerce Developer Slack community, um, our Stack Overflow, and trying to answer any of your questions you have there, and then also our Big Commerce community and growing that. So, a little bit more about Big Commerce. Uh, Big Commerce is an API first open SaaS e-commerce technology platform. And we are a full stack solution for both headless and non-headless merchants. Uh, innovation is something that Big Commerce takes very seriously. And we believe that innovative approaches lead to the growth and success of all of our merchants. So here's our agenda for today. We're gonna review a headless architecture and a basic sample app that we've developed. We're going to then take that and innovate it. We're going to show you how you can extend these basic apps uh, to do multi-region support with Big Commerce and the help of Netlify CMS. And then also um, we're going to talk about some areas of growth, some places where we could optimize and do better um, to have better multi-region localization and internationalization. All right, so last year for the Jamstack conference, Big Commerce built with the help of a partner, Third and Grove, um, a Gatsby Netlify starter app. Um, this contained all the basic functionality that was needed for a headless e-commerce site. And we're gonna use that as the base of our chat today and then extend it for multi-region support. Uh, so this is just a basic headless architecture diagram, um, just to get anyone who isn't familiar with it, um, how this is working. So we have a web technology using Gatsby that is hooked up to the big commerce backend, but you can see that this could be extended so that you could be tablet mobile friendly, as well as include any other APIs in your API layer. So here is our demo app, and you can see it kind of moving along here in this GIF. Um, it is using the Gatsby front end. Uh, the e-commerce technology is Big Commerce's APIs, and the hosting technology is Netlify. Um, I've actually included a link to last year's Jamstack conference here if you wish to learn more about how this app was built. And as well, um, I have the Gatsby, Netlify, CMS, multi-region, uh, GitHub repo linked here so that you can actually go here and um, fork the code and get started, you know, extending this app. So here is just a quick um, view of what the repo looks like. So that way you know where you are when you navigate to GitHub. And in the README, there are very specific instructions on how to get started. If you need any help, please reach out to me at any time. And again, I just wanna thank our partner, Third and Grove, for helping us get this started. So let's innovate. It is really important to us at Big Commerce that we're always pushing our boundaries and taking what we have and making it better. So with that, we took that base code and extended it for multi-region support, not just on the UI, but also utilizing the APIs that we have at Big Commerce. We've extended what we thought was even possible and did more with our APIs. And that's what we'll be displaying today. In these GIFs, um, you'll see that we're showing how multi-region support works. So there's actually a dropdown. When you select your region, that's when you see products and prices based on that region. So here are some of the APIs that are required. 
Um, the big three are channels, catalog, and listing APIs. Uh, the channel API is actually used for the creation and management of your listings. So that will actually take um, over the heavy lifting of doing local data. And when you take and put products to those channels, that's when you can change the listing values of them and make them more local specific. And this works in conjunction with catalog to help extend other features so that you can override different product data, um, have customizations at every level. And then just to have a full functioning app, um, you will need the cart APIs, the storefront APIs, and the pricing APIs. Uh, so to create a channel, it's very, very simple. All you need to do is send a post request um, with a raw JSON body to the channel's endpoint. Um, you'll at this point need to have BigCommerce credentials. And if you need any help setting those up, um, go to our get started section of our API docs at developer.bigcommerce.com. Uh, for today's demo and um, to talk about multi-region support, if you just wanna get started, I've actually linked my Postman request here. So you can just you know, take the output of that import it into your Postman and get started. All right, so here we are, we're going to define our locale using channels. Um, for the purpose of this demo, we have used external ID to reference the region name, the languages of the region and the currency. Um, and you, this is what you would send in a raw JSON body uh, to the API. And for multiple languages within a region, you're going to send us both the, uh, basically two channels, but you're gonna send us one that includes the language of that you wanna support first and then the other. So that is the second image here with the storefront. You'll say, I wanna support the United States English and I wanna support the United States in Spanish. Assigning products to the channels. So this is very simple. If you just go to our UI and, or the, your store UI, um, you can navigate to the channel manager, ensuring that all your channels are there and they're all active. And then going to products, you can just click the products you want to assign and use the bulk actions button to assign the products to a channel. And with that, you can pick and choose what products you assign to each channel. So you can get very specific on your multi-region support on which products are available in a region. All right, and this was the fun part, uh, Netlify CMS per region for content editing. So we actually were able to use this CMS system and create dynamic content um, for these static pages. So based on whether the language was French or Spanish or UK for currency versus US dollars for currency, um, this was very helpful in updating that static content. So where can we grow? Um, there's always room for growth and we understand that. So one of the things that we wanted to do is show you um, a note of like what our growth opportunities were and see if those spark your interest in where you want to grow um, using this platform. So one of the things that we've noticed um, right off the bat was how would we do translated email and marketing campaigns per location? And this is something that we're working on extending so that this could be done very easily. We also want to optimize our GraphQL APIs to handle localization and internationalization better. And this is something that's at the forefront of our minds and in what we want to do to support Headless. Uh, and then merchandising, payments, and pricing. 
this is an area in which um, we really strive to do our best because we think that you know payments are so important and making sure that someone has very is very clear on what they're going to pay when they go to checkout. And so right now, this is all being handled very statically um, via the channels API and a manual like input. So being able to do that dynamically is the next step or the evolution in that. And then also uh, just doing some region specific cart features. Um, right now, the cart is just our normal everyday big commerce cart. So being able to extend that to have some region specific cart features would be nice. Uh, we just chatted about a lot and I'm sure you'll need some resources to keep going and get started on your multi-region headless site. So I've provided you guys these resources. I will make sure that these get sent out on Twitter as well as our developer Slack. Um, so that way you guys can start utilizing not only developer.bigcommerce.com, but also some of the guides that we found that were outside of the big commerce ecosystem. Thank you so much to Netlify for making this happen. Um, I'm super excited to have been here with you today and presenting today on multi-region, uh, headless commerce. Please enjoy the rest of the summit uh, and feel free to reach out to me or the Big Commerce team anytime through Twitter, our community, or developer.bigcommerce.com. Thank you. Bye.